Hi, I'm Carlos Dominguez from Intel, and I'm here to tell you about the latest Intel GPA news and updates. Expect to see new features in Graphics Frame Analyzer, Graphics Monitor, and Stream Capture for the 2019.4 release. Additionally, Intel GPA's Frameworks DirectX functionality has been expanded. This release includes the ability to trigger when a stream capture starts and stops during gameplay, a consolidated list view of captured frame, stream, and trace files within Graphics Monitor, custom GPU event grouping and annotation, and expanded the feature set of DirectX applications in Intel GPA framework. We have streamlined the way you view and open files across the tool suite by implementing a list view of all trace, stream, and frame captures within Graphics Monitor. Double-clicking on any file will open the capture within its respective tool. In the same vein, selecting the X on any file will permanently delete the capture from your system and make room for additional frame, stream, or trace files. With this release, you can now trigger when a stream both starts and ends its capture on DirectX 12 applications. This functionality can be enabled through Graphics Monitor settings. Navigate to the Stream tab and turn on Deferred Capture before launching an application for injection. Pressing the L key will trigger the start and stop of a stream capture. The HUD will indicate whether a capture has started, is in progress, or has ended respectively. Only one capture can be taken per application execution. Not only can you customize when you start or stop a stream capture, but you can enhance your performance profiling workflow with the ability to create GPU event groupings in Graphics Frame Analyzer. To do so, select Contiguous Events in the bar chart or API log and click on the plus next to the grouping. From here, you can provide the desired name for the collection of events. Create as many groups and subgroups as desired in a frame. Keep in mind, however, that events cannot be added to a group post-creation. You can also remove the grouping from the API log by pressing the minus button next to it. Additionally, our team has continued to add features to the Intel GPA framework that include, but are not limited to, a synchronous screenshot support and the ability to specify the output format for DirectX 11 and 12 application, and support for metadata extraction and metric collection for DirectX 12 applications. Thank you for watching. For more information about the Intel GPA 2019.4 release and to download GPA for free, see the links. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel for more Intel GPA news and updates. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and you haven't seen our other videos, subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all next time.